Remember the old family album with its wedding photographs? And do you know how some of those professional photographs were taken? We'll restage the great occasion for you and let you into the stupendous secret. Of course, everything had to be uh, just so. Just so that the result would be perfect from tip to toe. From uh, tip to toe. Well, they must have dressed in a hurry. Anyway, that was only a rehearsal. And now to the real business. Very often the groom wasn't as careful as he might have been of his sartorial habiliments, that's clothes to you, and the fussy photographer had to do something about it. The tie was always a knotty problem. The groom's makeup was another headache, but it's surprising what a little powder can do, especially if it's properly smoothed off. The bride too needed a couple of dabs before she went into action. Now we're getting somewhere. After all, we are only concerned with what the camera sees. With these old-fashioned cameras, the image was always inverted. With modern ones, of course. Oh, but let's not go into that now. The great thing was to make sure that in the wedding picture, all the bits and pieces were in their right place. The sword for cutting the cake was a tricky business because, like making a Christmas pudding or playing the flute, there's always a right and a wrong way to do it. Yes, it has been a bit tiresome, but now we're all set. The most romantic newly married couple in the world are about to have their wedding photograph taken. Smile, please. She presses button A and there you are. Ain't love grand? 